another race for my classic, the Canyon Mission. Don't let Butterfingers work on the new Bang Bang Switch. Bada bing bada boom. No, no more off no, no, for you. No. Yes, 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 yes. God damn it, guys. Oh my god. No, God, please, no, no. Bartlett's back, baby! He has rescued Nicanor, Yuktabani's prime minister who, just like Harling, has nothing to do with the current war. The captain plans to drive to an airfield, steal a plane and escape with him. Rosgris is to head to the area and provide support. It's me. I'm okay so far. And the car's hidden under a bush. Yeah, that's a great bush you got there. You know the cover is good when you can spot the car from the air. So, the resistance has already infiltrated the airfield and is waiting for Bartlett to arrive. The timing of the mission has already been agreed upon and cannot be changed, so we need to guide Bartlett to the airfield using a route that gets him there in time. It would pretty much be a question of going through the longer path of least resistance or the much faster but also more chaotic shortcut, but we're obviously gonna go shortcuts all the way. I feel like it suits Bartlett's personality better. Alright, Bartlett has Nicanor with him in the car, as well as Nastasia, also known as... Why do I feel like we've stepped into a battle over the radio? Oh boy, careful with the passive aggressiveness in your tone, ladies. Well, I'm sorry to say, Nagase, but I don't think you can win this one. But I appreciate the effort you're putting in. <laughs> okay, Nagase, calm down. You know, when I said to go shortcuts all the way, I expected the threat to come in the form of the extra targets. But I should know myself better. The real threat is actually... Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't even exciting, I was just stupid. <laughs> Another unexpected threat? Nausea. Based on how these guys are flying at least. Uh, just fucking stop doing it. What? Ugh. I'm getting dizzy. This guy's just flying. Ugh, forget it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just a roll after roll after roll. Let's check in with the battle of the waifus. Maybe just Nagase. I don't know about all of us. Yeah, sorry to say, but this seems like a TKO for Nagase. I just realized this is a lot of opposition for just three cars. They even have a seemingly modified AC-130. Oh. Okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he just activated the boosters out of nowhere. Okay, they've gone through every checkpoint. We finally reached the airfield. Time to grab the plane. Wait, why are you stopping? They're in the car and there's a tank in front of them. Just keep driving. I shouldn't even have to say anything. Now that they're in the air, we can leave you to Bonnie behind and head to the Kestrel. Just hope we don't run into any bad guys. You just had to say something, didn't you? Like an outcome of instant karma, the 8492nd, or rather, the Grabak Squadron, arrives on scene. Unlike Ofnir, this time we're dogfighting in an open space, so the tactic is just to fly around and fire at them. That can be easier said than done, though. If you're having trouble, just remember the way of the ace. Fly away and get some distance, turn around and fire everything. There you go, see? <laughs> Oh man, that means we're gonna fight them again, doesn't it? Bartlett has finally returned. It turns out that the very first POW of the war had escaped before they could lock him up, which explains why he wasn't in the Glubina camp. Apparently, Yuktabani's situation is quite similar to Ozias. Their leader, who advocated for peace, was silently imprisoned, with the country going to war soon after. Nicanor is now safe in the Kestrel, alongside Mystery Woman Number 1. Nastasia is a recon major in the Yuk army, and the one who turned Bartlett into Heartbreak 1. Her faith in Nicanor's vision of peace had led her here with a vital piece of information. She was carrying a single disc. 
she told us that the disc contained the secret plans of the Belkin Greymen. Well, isn't that convenient? They better get to decoding it then. She has learned about the Strategic Orbital Linear Gun, a Nosian military attack satellite. Despite being abandoned after the Belkin War, it seems to have been seized by the Greymen, who are using the Space Center's mass driver to send supplies to it. What is that star receiving from them? I don't know, you think they're getting pizza? Come on, use your imagination, it's not that difficult. All hands proceed to battle stations. Yuktobani and fleet ahead. So the Yuks attempt to block the Kestrel's path with an armada. Nicanor tries to talk them out of it, which convinces some, but crucially not the fleet commander, who recognizes those who follow Nicanor as traitors. Oh no. Less dramatic. That stunt backfires on him since it prompts some of his ships to defect, and more importantly, sends the Rasgris coming. Anderson sends Nicanor away to meet with Harling so they can do a nice little peace ceremony in the Ozean capital and prepares for battle. Our job is to engage the enemy fleet and protect our allies. The mission is pretty simple, really, but I suppose it's a good test to see if I'm any better with ship combat. In the middle of the battle, a Nosian fleet shows up, so the Kestrel tries to ask for some support. I'm sure that's gonna go great. Looks like the Ocean fleet has been listening to all of our communications up to now. They're calling us traitors that join forces with the Ukes. So now we also have to deal with the Ozean ships. Well, they are confident, at least. You paid for your crime of treason. <laughs> okay, how about... No. Alright, I would say I'm getting better at this. The ships are all gone and I didn't have any incidents with the water surface. Progress has been made. All that's left is a couple of enemy fighters. We got this. We're doing it right now, man. I don't get it. He asks me yes or no questions and then he goes off in a philosophical tangent. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> All enemy ships suppressed. We've won. This is the captain of the carrier Kestrel. To all the brave souls that have survived, I congratulate you. Our journey is almost at an end. Nice job, everyone. Let's get back to the carrier. Oop! Jesus. Perfect plays. <laughs> I swear. Every time I do a landing which is really sketchy and they always tell me it's perfect. I don't get it. <laughs> with the blockade gone, a new fleet of Yuktabanian and Ozean ships is formed, with the Kestrel as the flagship. It's like a big happy family now. How nice. Ten 